Hey, it's Beb. Um, before I even start getting into the topic of this video, I'd like to put out a disclaimer that I'm really bad at racing, as you can see from the videos I'm about to compile, uh, and it only took like 20 minutes of racing to fail that much, so that's kind of embarrassing, but it's kind of the reason I don't train a lot. So this might not be the best footage to watch while I talk about what I want to talk about, but at least I'm showing you guys something because I didn't want you guys to be staring at a blank screen while I just go off and rant and whatever. So uh, please forgive me for my complete lack of skill. So anyways, I have a different mic so I don't really know if it'll sound different yet, but it should be at least a little bit more quiet and not so harsh from or for the ears. Uh, because my laptop mic was just really bad. So with that stuff out of the way, I know you definitely read the title or else you wouldn't have clicked on this, so obviously I'm going to be talking about the new breeding system that's going to be implemented into Star Stable soon. I can't really say I'm too excited about it because it's not like you'll be able to crossbreed or something like that. That would take an extreme amount of work. I feel like if this feature is going to be in the game, Star Stable is going to make us pay a lot of money to use it. I don't want this feature in the game if it's going to take away the uniqueness of Star Stable, especially if they go the Alicia Online route with it. I've heard some people say they would like to see the breeding system similar to Alicia Online, and if you don't know, it's basically like a horse Mario Kart racing game that has a breeding system um, with like different rarity of codes, but the reason getting a rare coat is so thrilling is because you have to spend in-game currency known as carrots that you actually have to work for in order to breed. So it costs anywhere around 6,000 carrots if you want like, you know, a low grade horse to 40,000 carrots if you want to breed a really, really good horse. To put that in perspective, I'd say you get like, depending on the bonuses in the game at the time, you get from like, I don't know, 50 maybe at the least and then like 200 or 300 at the most carrots at a time. So it is really expensive in that game, so I can't imagine how expensive it would be in this game. But I already know they're not really going to make it like Alicia Online because they've already put out that they don't want to promote gambling or anything like that, especially since this is a kid's game. I think that you can breed for free and if you get a foal that you like, you can pay for it using star coins. But the thing is, I think since you're breeding instead of just buying the horse normally. I can't say for sure since there's definitely been no information released on that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they would charge you more than a normal horse is like that you're buying somewhere. I also kind of have questions like are you gonna have to raise the foal? Like how you have to raise the foal in a star stable app and then pay money for it? Um, there's just a lot of things that they should take into consideration before you know jumping in right away so i can also read the instagram post uh it starts with an introduction from the lead character slash creature artist at star stable entertainment so a little while ago our game director stacy place made the announcement that we'll start looking into breeding for star stable online and in an interview she also mentioned a shader that will make it all possible i am currently the creator and currently am one of the persons driving the development of bringing breeding into star stable online and trying to make it a reality up until now i thought this was one of the highest requested features hence my surprise when i saw a large number of negative comments and concerns you the players rose I would like to understand your concerns properly so I can bring it with me into development. I have been looking into all the conversations about the topic I've found and I'm trying to understand. Now I would like to hear it straight from you. Please share your opinions and feedback with me. What would you like SSO breeding to be? Based on your experience from other games including breeding, what would you like us to avoid? Please bear in mind that these images are a work in progress and not the final product. They do not have the same level of polish as our regular coats yet. Personally, I think she handled that really well, and I'm really proud that someone at Star Stable Entertainment can step up and actually want to hear out feedback from the players themselves, because Star Stable does get a lot of comments and emails about a lot of different things and glitches and bugs and, you know, things that people would like to see in the game, and they don't particularly always listen to um, all the feedback. They don't read it or take it into consideration, so 
Um, it's really refreshing to see someone who is actually taking in feedback from the players before just letting everyone loose with a breeding system that no one actually even wanted. One factor in breeding that I care about the most is that the genetics would make sense. Without genetics that makes sense, it's like it wouldn't really even be fun if it just came out with like a random outcome. Uh, it would also be cool to make it like kind of educational for like a younger audience without rubbing it in their face. Like it would be cool if you could see the genes that the horses have or like what alleles are paired together or is this genotype heterozygous, homozygous. Um, if I breed the offspring, what traits will show from the grandparents? Like that would be a really cool way to show off a little bit of real biology in the game. Um, another question that I would have is like, would we be breeding with other people's horses or like NPC horses? Because I feel like we would be breeding NPC horses, especially since Star Staple has said things about exchanging star coins in any type of way in the past is like off the table. Um, having a way to exchange any type of currency in the game would give people the incentive to hack other people. So. Right now, the only reason to hack anyone is to be mean because it wouldn't benefit the hacker's main account in any type of way, so it makes a lot of sense why they wouldn't want us to breed each other's horses for currency, but like maybe someone can put their horse up for breeding for free, I mean like, you know, just to be nice, but that doesn't seem very plausible. As much as I would love to have a feature to sell, trade, or breed horses for money, it's most likely not going to happen, uh, and there's a completely valid reason on why. Um, like for example, Animal Jam was a big example on how t people would get hacked or scammed for their rare items, and it's understandable how Star Stable wouldn't want their game to undergo the chaos that Animal Jam did. I honestly hope that they'll just make it affordable because, as I mentioned earlier, I feel like they'll make us pay for a lot of money for the full, especially since we obtained the full from the special feature. If you have to raise the full yourself, I feel like it shouldn't cost as many Star Coins. Um, as like buying a regular horse because you have to put the work into it so I mean it's only fair if you get it at like you know a discounted price depending on how much work maybe I'm not really sure where I was going with that but um, I oh yeah I also kind of hope that the price for all foals is the same because like you know like no matter the quote-unquote rareness of it like I feel like it should all be the same um, I don't know if I'm the only one who thought of that or anything, but it just feels like something Star Stable would do. Like, it's a genuine concern of mine that I'll get, like, a really nice foal that I have interest in, but then, like, I have to afford it or something because I don't have enough Star Coins to keep it. Wait, like, that- that got deep. I didn't mean, like, abort it. Like, like, not being able to keep it in your stable. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, it- it's been mentioned that RNG is going to be used in breeding, but like to what extent will it really be random? Like down to the markings, or down to the personality that they're talking about adding, or... You know, there's just a lot of things that would factor into the RNG. So there's a lot of questions that I have as well as the rest of the community. And if you'd like to see more, I would definitely recommend seeing the Instagram post from you are now incognito i'm sure that they're leaving responses to a lot more comments over there so if you guys are really that curious and you want to know more i definitely check out that page in the post there's also the coats that they're working on for the foals if you want to check that out as well uh one last question that i have that you know i just thought of we are already expecting new characters like people characters and those are going to take a lot of work um, are they going to get tired of that project and just start working on the breeding system? Because those are two very, very large updates and I feel like they should work on, like, work on them one at a time before even considering making a breeding system. Uh, we already know we have been wanting new characters for a long time, but, you know, I don't really know what goes on over there, so I can't really say much. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up right here. Do you have any comments or criticism on what we know so far? Uh, I'd love to hear it, and so is Star Stable. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, bye!